Okay, so now we have completed the construction of the eBay and we've attached the parachute to it, which is hanging over my desk. Um, now we're going to attach this to the rocket. Um, before I do that, let me attach the eBay, let me get it ready for flight. Um, so first, you know, all the loose lines, you want to kind of gather those up. Um, you want to attach it to your servo, and I want to hook it into the right one. And then this will hook into my battery slot. And then this hooks to my battery. And then um, this tube needs to go on top of this. Let me put my servo back down. Okay. Um, now to get this on here, you just kind of squeeze the tube and it will slide right through. And we'll slide the tube over all the guts of it, like that. Um, and then this will get attached right here. Make sure that all your lines are in the right spot, that you don't crimp any of your lines. Okay, and I can see inside, just double checking that I'm not catching anything. Okay, um, and then to hold the bulkhead on, there's a thumb screw, a little tiny thumb screw, and that will go into that right there. And on this end, there's a quick link and a ball bearing swivel. And we want, you see how the ball bearing swivel, one end of it is kind of a cone shape. We want that to face the bulkhead on the eBay. So we're just gonna open up the quick link, route that through there, and then that will go through there, and then we'll close it back up. like that. Now this end, there's a short piece of Kevlar that gets attached to this and we're going to tie this Okay, pull on that tight. So now this gets attached to the nose cone. So here's the nose cone of my rocket. And I want to make the length of this cord really short. Um, and the reason for that is um, there's a lot of harmonics going on as, it, as the, uh, the rocket is swaying underneath the controller. And we want to limit them as much as possible. So for the nose cone, we want this cord to be short. But for the body tube, we want that one to be really long, longer than a typical shock cord. So maybe a you know, typical shock cord is three to four times the length of a rocket. On this one, we want that shock cord to be four or five times longer so that it's much longer. Okay, so we want to keep that length uh, less than six inches so that it's nice and short. And now the body tube of the rocket is also going to be attached to the nose cone. Um, well actually, it's going to be attached to the, uh, to the swivel as well. But before we do that, um, I want to take my heat shield. And you're going to need a heat shield to fly this. And now the heat shield is dependent on the diameter of the rocket tube. So this is a three inch tube. So for this one, I need a, a 12 inch heat shield. Um, if you're unsure which size heat shield to use, go to the Apogee website at apogeerockets.com. 
go to the heat shield page and on that page there's there's several sizes um, but there's a chart that shows body tube diameter and heat shield size so get the appropriate size for the body tube because this will fill this entire tube so now to attach this um, got a knot in this end we want to take this and there's a buttonhole on here and if the buttonhole is not open just take a hobby knife and slice through the fabric to, to open up that buttonhole and then we're going to attach this to here uh, but then we need to move it down to the right position on, on, on along the shock cord and the right position let me show you how that's going to go um, it's actually going to go we want the controller to be kind of at the apex and the buttonhole down here at the other end now that buttonhole this is attached to the rocket right here so we're just going to stretch it out we get to the nose cone right up here um, so that's the length where we want that heat shield attached so let me get this out of the way oh, I just slid it because my rocket fell over so let me just measure that again so the end of the shock cord attaches to the nose cone. We want this controller right here and then stretch this out like right there. And that's the proper position for the heat shield on this particular rocket. And so on here, I'm going to do a, uh, I don't want this to slide around, so I'm going to thread it through and then double and then knot it up one more time so now this can't slide along the shock cord so this is fixed in place and so now this end I'm hooked on my rocket Um, I'm going to attach to the again I'm going to attach it to the swivel I probably could attach it to the nose cone but I think I'm going to attach it to the swivel this is experimental so you can play around which way is best Okay, so I have my nose cone attached to the swivel and my shock cord to the rest of the rocket attached to the swivel. So at this point, we're ready to start folding up the parachute and getting it ready for flight. And I'll do that in the next video.